Okay, I'm back and this will be a quick look at a leather case that I've been using for a few days now that I quite like. As we know, Apple no longer makes leather cases for their iPhones and they've actually removed any leather products from their site. They now offer their own fine woven material as an alternative, which I happen to like, but I still miss the feel of a good leather case. So this case is from a company called Decoded and I should say that I have no affiliation with the brand and this isn't a sponsored video. I purchased this case with my own money as I was just looking for a leather case for my own use and out of the few that I've tried, I think I like this one the best. Decoded is a UK based brand that makes cases and other lifestyle accessories as well. This is a leather back cover case in the tan color, which is a similar brown to Apple's old saddle brown and I think it pairs very nicely with the natural titanium 15 Pro Max. The packaging is minimal with no taper plastics. Inside, the case is a nice foam insert and some information about leather care. They've sourced the leather from Echo Tannery, which is based out of Denmark, and the leather used on this case is full grain aniline, so it should develop a nice patina over time, but time will tell. It also has MagSafe compatibility, so it'll work with all your MagSafe accessories, and it retails for 55 US dollars, which I think is pretty reasonable for a good leather case. What I like about the case is that it's fully covered in leather, so when you hold it, you're always feeling the leather itself and not TPU or some other kind of material. The case is also pretty slim and handsome with minimal branding. There is a small date etched into the metal camera ring that has the date that the company was established, and for some reason they put the year before the month. There's also a decoded logo embossed vertically along the bottom left of the case, and I think the branding is subtle and tasteful. The leather itself has a fine grain that's not very tumbled, it feels smooth to the touch and isn't very soft or tacky, but that can change over time as it ages, which I'm kind of hoping it does. The buttons on the case also appear to be aluminum and I'm guessing they're glued onto the leather surface. There are matching cutouts on the inside of the case and the buttons have a nice clickiness to them. The speaker and USB cutouts are perfect and the inside of the case has a felt lining for your iPhone to snuggle into. As far as nits to pick, there aren't too many. The case itself is very marginally thicker than Apple's previous leather cases and the current fine woven one, and it's just a few grams heavier, but in use and in the hand it's not very noticeable. I do find the edges of the buttons to be a little sharper than Apple's, and I would have preferred if they didn't stick out as much. And lastly, it doesn't really have a very strong leather smell. Bummer. I think that's just about it. I think Decoded have done a good job with the case. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Purchases made through the link don't cost you any extra, but it earns my channel a small commission. But of course, there's no pressure to use that link. I'll also put a link to Decoded own, Decoded's own website as well. Okay, hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.